guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel Archituber. I am Architect Vibhavi and I make content related to architecture and interiors. If you are new here, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel below. Okay, so no one in my first year told me to learn softwares in the early phase of architecture. And now that I have done architecture and I am doing practice, I now know the importance of learning softwares in my early stage of architecture in school. So today we are going to be discussing the same, okay, and the softwares that you will be needing. We will be discussing each of the softwares one by one. So please stay till the very end and I hope you are loving the content and if you do, please let me know in the comment section below. Having said all of it, let us jump into the video. Now discussing about the first software which is AutoCAD or ArchiCAD. This is one of the most important softwares in architecture and interior design. Okay, so it is one of the basic and most important software. It is often used to make 2D drawings. So let me show you the interface of the AutoCAD's workspace. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, this is how the workspace looks. But uh, do not get confused or do not think too much because first when you look at it, you might feel it is too technical. But it is so easy, trust me on this. Whenever you are starting to learn this, just make sure you are having notes with you for some sort of period. This is the most important and basic software to learn as an architect, okay? So make sure you are learning this from the first year itself and uh, using AutoCAD you can make all kinds of drawing like 2D plan, uh, then your elevation, section, detail plan, site plan, interior layouts, etc. Okay, and now let us discuss about the drawings. So as you can see on the screen, we have first detail site plan, floor plan, sections and elevations. So this much of detailing you can do or more also. Okay, then we have sanction drawing, then we have interior layout with elevations, right? So we have kitchen layout, kitchen planning with elevation, how kitchen will look. So this is the basic set of drawing. Okay, so basically this is going to be your go-to software. So make sure you're learning this very nicely. Okay, you should have a command on this particular software. I already have started a series on this particular software. I might have eight or nine lectures on this okay so please go check it out and i will soon start posting about this now let us discuss about the next software this one software will help you to enhance your 2d drawings or for a good presentation you should learn this software now let's look at the workspace as you can see on the screen you have different tools okay and you can make very creative presentations and you can convert your basic drawings into you know properly rendered drawings okay and you can say that it is a actually pro version of paint so you can see the drawings and how creatively your 2d drawings can get enhanced after your autocad or the basic 2d drawings you can render your drawings here okay for a nice composition and sheet presentation now let me show you how properly the sheet has been made you can see on the screen how the subtle colors have been used the information is given there 3d images are there you have detailed plans site plan elevation 3d views it is mixture of all but look at how properly it has been composed so that is what photoshop is used for so the next software is sketchup okay so basically sketchup is used for 3d models and then we have so many other extensions that you can use to render your 3d models but sketchup autocad and photoshop these are the three main softwares that you will need for rest of your life as an architect okay as you can see on the screen there's workspace where the lady is standing and you can make any kind of 2d plan into a 3d model okay and when you have to make it realistic there comes the extension so basically you have v-ray or uh, you know lumion and skip we will be discussing about that but let us see how 3d drawing can look without rendering in your sketchup so as you can see this elevation this elevation is not rendered but look how fine and clean it looks okay then we have the interior view and one more elevation from this you can be sure that you will have to learn 
3D software and simply learn SketchUp because it is very easy. I will be posting soon about this and we will be learning together. Okay, so please stay tuned for that and make sure you have subscribed to the channel. So now let us discuss how it will look after rendering. Let me show you. Okay, now as you can see on the screen, you have a realistic looking building which is made using V-Ray which is the extension of SketchUp and you know it is the most underrated software for uh, rendering. It is very easy, you just have to make 3 to 4 changes in the settings to make your drawing look this realistic. Okay, so this is again one of the examples of V-Ray. This is not a clear image though, but you can see how beautifully the interior rendering can also be done on this software. The next software that we have is a Lumion software, which is used for realistic 3D renderings. Okay, basically it is the same as V-Ray, but it is considered to be the most advanced one. So this is the interface of the Lumion and you can see how realistic the building, the road, the trees and the people with shadows are looking so this is how you can make most realistic 3d view now discussing about the next software which is also one of the rendering softwares which is known as enscape it is also similar to uh, you know lumion so if you learn one of the softwares it is enough okay just the settings will be different and the rendering will be same almost okay so learn one of these softwares and you will be good to go okay so now as you can see on the screen we have again next software which is Autodesk Revit it is one of the most important softwares if you want to get a higher paid job uh, if you have heard about the BIM course or building information modeling course it is one of the most used softwares in BIM which is Revit okay in this software you can literally make 2d layout and then you have section and elevation ready with all the details that you will be needing and you can also make a 3d model out of it so this is literally all in one software so please make sure you are learning this because this is the future of architecture so do not skip on this software it is a technical software but still take a time out to learn this software very nicely so you have a proper command on this software so this is how the workspace for the Revit looks like okay so now as you can see on the screen we have four detailed elevations okay and these are being made using Revit only so you just have to first draft the detailed plan with all the mentioned levels like level 1 that means your ground plan or basement plan then your ground plan okay and likewise if you start making the elevation or section simultaneously you can get something like this okay and you just have to mention everything because Revit works in families that you will understand slowly and then you can see over here we have a basic section okay you can see the levels that they have mentioned on the screen and on the right hand side you can see the east is getting highlighted okay so it is a east side section so this is how you can make every drawing on Revit so start learning that now the last software which is PowerPoint so basically PowerPoint you should learn because you have so many submissions and assignment and it is a very hectic job to always use Photoshop. Like Photoshop is the most convenient software but when it comes to like urgent submissions or any presentations, if you are very good at Photoshop, you must do photoshop sheets but if you are not comfortable with photoshop at first you can easily go on uh, powerpoint and you can make really good creative presentations or even you can compose sheet as you can see on the screen this particular sheet can also be done on powerpoint so make sure you are using powerpoint also okay so with that we have discussed about the important software that you will be needing in your five years of architectural school and after that as well i will be posting about every software and the tutorials here so make sure you have subscribed for those who haven't subscribed i kindly request you all to please subscribe okay and i'll see you in my next video you know the drill please like comment share and subscribe to my channel below okay bye